It has been three years of training for Luke under Yoda's teaching. We reached the same point of time we were at in Empire. Luke is significantly stronger than he was at any point in the original trilogy due to having Yoda's undivided attention. R2-D2 has been repaired, and Han and Chewie have long since left Dagobah, thinking that they have laid low for long enough. After being chased down by the Empire, Han decides to go to Cloud City, choosing to hide under Lando's protection. However, since Han isn't as high of a priority for the Empire, he was able to get away without Boba Fett or Vader following him. Han and Chewie take jobs within Cloud City's government because at least this way they have something to do, unlike they had in Dagobah. The probe lands on Hoth, but since it detects nothing, the Empire does not pursue it in any way, choosing to remain stationary. Vader, however, does demand that more probes be sent out. Several small rebellions form, but each is crushed almost immediately by Tarkin and the Death Star. Although public opinion of the Empire is extremely low, with nobody to provide a threat to their reign, they continue to rule the galaxy. Meanwhile, Palpatine is out of the public eye and becoming increasingly obsessed with finding immortality due to his advanced age.